Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a high converting opt in page. Now, a lot of the content I create is around Facebook and Instagram advertising, and a lot of Facebook ad sales funnels will feature an opt in page at some point where you're advertising something on Facebook, a lead magnet, it could be a free report, a free guide, uh, a template, video training, perhaps a webinar, all these sorts of things that you give away for free in exchange for someone's email address for their contact information so that you can market to them on an ongoing basis. Um, so, opt in pages are very important components of a Facebook ad sales funnel that uses them. And, uh, I thought I'd quickly show you an example of one that I've created that converts very, very well. This opt-in page I've got in front of me right now converts at over 65%. So 65% of people that click on a Facebook ad, come through to this page, will go ahead and sign up in this case for my five-part Facebook ad template, which is a very, very high conversion rate, absolutely fantastic. And it makes my Facebook ad campaigns that are advertising um, this lead magnet much more successful. So there are some do's and don'ts. I'm going to quickly go through those. So here, as I already mentioned, is the opt-in page for my five-part Facebook ad template, which is a lead magnet that I've used um, for a couple of years now. It's been updated and improved over, over that time, but it's a fantastic lead magnet. It basically contains some of the best performing ads that we've created for a number of different clients in a number of different industries, and people... Um, can download this template, they're interested in Facebook advertising, want to improve their results, and they can obviously model from the ads. We've sort of broken each ad down, explained what we've included in each and why, so they can see, oh, okay, they've used this type of headline, this type of uh, image here, that's the sort of thing I could do. By the way, if you want to download this uh, five-part Facebook ad template, there'll be a link in the video description. Um, so it's a great lead magnet, and part of the success, we've had over 30,000 people opt in for this um, lead magnet, part of the success is this opt-in page. So I'm going to sort of go down in descending order and explain some of the things around this. So the first thing you'll notice is there's no header navigation. There's just a logo up here. There's no links to an about page. Even though it's on our website, there's no links to anything else. That's on purpose. When someone comes from a Facebook ad to an opt-in page, you want to make the page as distraction-free as possible because you want them to take one very specific action and that's opt-in for your lead magnet. So we've got not got any header navigation at all. That's the first part. Second thing you want to do is make sure people are 100% clear that what they think they're going to see is what they're seeing on this page. There needs to be congruency between this landing page, this opt-in page, and the Facebook ad. So here, right in big red letters, we've got, well, above this, we've got free download. You can't say something's free too much. And then we've got five-part Facebook ad template in capital red letters to make it super obvious. So as soon as someone comes through to this page, there's absolutely no doubt that it is about the five-part Facebook ad template. It's not about anything else. There's no confusion there. And they won't... Um, jump off as a result. If there's not congruency, you know, if they land on this page and there is information about your lead magnet, but it's sort of hidden, there's a good chance people will simply bounce off the page and go straight back to Facebook or whatever they were doing before. So that's the first part. Very, very simple, um, but very clear. Now, what we've got here is four bullet points on the left-hand side that all talk about a feature of the Facebook ad template, and link that to a benefit of downloading it. Because you might think this thing is free when you're advertising a lead magnet, but it still requires an exchange of value. They're giving you their contact information, they're giving you the time that it takes to go through the lead magnet, therefore you need to sell it. Even though you're not charging for it, you need to sell it. You don't need a 20 page sales page, um, that would be overkill. You wanna keep it nice and simple as we've done here, but it is important to, um, to actually sell this. So I'm just going to quickly give you a couple of these examples here. So this template includes our value first strategy that uses Facebook's social nature to consistently generate low cost leads and sales. This strategy works in any market. So just explain some of the psychology around this. So we've got our value first strategy. So that's a feature. It's a There's a value first strategy being talked about in this Facebook ad template. Okay, great. That uses Facebook's social nature to consistently generate low cost leads and sales. There's your benefit. Who, are, who is advertising on Facebook that doesn't want consistent low-cost leads and sales? That's what we all want. Fantastic. Great. That's the benefit. And we're also overcoming an objection here. This strategy works in any market. Think about the objections that your prospects are going to have to, let's say, signing up for your webinar or downloading your free training. One of the objections they might have is, yeah, but this isn't going to work for me. It'll work for those people, but it's not going to work for me. So having any objection overcoming statements like this, this strategy works in any market, means people can't say, yeah, that won't work for my industry, that won't work for my business. We've overcome that objection. I'm going to go through another one here. The five elements of any Facebook ad that you need to get right to convince your target market to click and most importantly convert. So we're doing the same thing here. The feature, the five elements of any Facebook ad, that's a feature. 
that you need to get right to convince your target market to click and most importantly convert. There's your benefit. Click and most importantly convert. Again, that's what we all want when we're advertising on Facebook. So I'm not going to go through all of these. You can come to this page. You can see the URL up here. Again, I'll include a link in the video description below. Whilst you're there, you can obviously sign up for the five-part Facebook ad template. Um, but spend some time on these. It's not a lot of text. It won't take you forever, but don't get this done in five minutes. Take a bit of time to really think about this. Really think about these bullet points. How can I talk about a feature of my lead magnet, link that through to a benefit, overcome some objections, and really convince people to take action? Whether these bullet points are um, convincing or not can be the difference between this opt-in page converting at 65% like mine, which is incredibly high, or 25, 30%, which is far more average. And the difference obviously between those two is twice as many leads for the same amount of ad spend on Facebook. So you're basically doubling the profitability and the effectiveness of your Facebook ad campaign with elements like this and taking some time and getting these right. Okay, moving on to this uh, other column. We've got an image in here. So one of the ones that our, one of our graphic designers has put together, it's kind of a fun little style where we've kind of got like a Facebook ad in here. You know, it's got the profile uh, picture, sort of round image here, the headline, some copy, uh, the, the, the page name, sorry, some copy, you know, the three little things up there. We've got um, boxes that demonstrate where the social proof would be. And then of course, right in the middle, five part Facebook ad template. So I think it's important. Most lead magnets are digital. There's no physical component to them. But I think it's important to include an image because you want your prospects to feel like they're getting something. Again, there's an exchange of value here. They're giving you their contact information. So they want to feel like they're getting something back for that. So including an image that just sort of demonstrates that what they're going to get is, is something real, it's, it's an actual thing, um, I think is well worth doing. So I would go ahead and create an image like this. You can quite easily do so in Canva. Um, it's a free online graphic design tool that is absolutely fantastic. We use it all the time. And you can put some, something together that looks quite nice like this, uh, relatively easy. And then, of course, we're re-emphasizing five-part Facebook ad template, bold red letters. As soon as someone lands on this page, there's no doubt what this is all about. Then beneath here, we've got um, just a little extra something to help convince people to take action right above the call to action button. So we've got copy and paste these proven Facebook ads to profitably generate low-cost leads and sales from Facebook. So the best lead magnets help people do something they could already probably do, but they help them do it a lot faster and a lot easier. So people could probably craft Facebook ads themselves. They could work out what copy, what ads to do if they were too willing to spend hours and hours researching it, spend thousands of dollars testing different variations. These are things they could work out. But it's much easier, much faster for them to download the Facebook ad template and learn from what we've already learned. So we, that's what we're trying to do here. Copy and paste these proven Facebook ads. Don't struggle yourself. Copy and paste what we've already done. Learn from our experience to again, profitably generate low cost leads and sales from Facebook. So we're really talking about the benefits of downloading this five part Facebook ad template. And then we've got the call to action button. So the call to action button, get instant access, bright orange um, button, really quite large. It stands out. You can see the sort of colors we've got. It says like black. We've got some red going on. There's nothing else that's orange. We want that to really stand out and grab people's attention because that's the action that we want people to take. Obviously when they click on that, I'll just quickly do it. We have a little pop up. Um, Five part Facebook ad template, we just reiterate this line in here, copy and paste these proven Facebook ads to properly generate low cost leads and sales from Facebook. They need to pop in their name, email address, get instant access, click the consent button, and they're good to go. We've created this using um, Optin Monster, in case you guys are interested. I'll include a link to that um, below as well. Um, okay. We have found, by the way, that you get a slightly better conversion rate by having them click on some click on a button and it pop up like this, as opposed to just embedding, you know, the uh, name and email address into the page itself. So that's uh, probably something worth doing. Okay, last part. You can see this page is super short, super super simple. We do have some footer navigation. So all we've got is just a write for us, contact, login, uh, terms and conditions, and privacy policy. I would idea in an ideal world, I would not include this uh, information in here. I would, because I don't want any distractions. But in order to be to compliant with Facebook's advertiser policies, you do need at least a link to your privacy policy. And I would include a link to your terms and conditions or terms of service, terms of use page, whatever you have in here as well. Um, that's just to be compliant with Facebook advertiser policies, particularly anywhere where you're capturing information. You definitely want to include a privacy policy and you want to make sure that it's on the pages that people come through to from your Facebook ad because otherwise this is just the sort of thing that can get Facebook ad accounts suspended get Facebook ad accounts disabled is you didn't include a privacy policy you're capturing information Facebook don't like that you might think that Facebook just care about the ads on Facebook they do also care about the landing page experience 
after someone comes through to Facebook. And that leads me on to my next point is on your opt-in pages, on your landing pages, don't don't put any pop-ups on there. If you put a pop-up on there, there's a good chance that Facebook will suspend your Facebook ad account. I've had it happen before. Um, it's not fun. <laughs> it, the, the week or so it takes to get that re-enabled is very stressful. So just leave it out. Um, the one they're hottest on is exit pop-ups. They don't want anything that prevents people from navigating away from a page. So if they come here, they decide they don't like it. Facebook wants people to be able to jump straight back to Facebook. So just don't include any pop-ups, especially not any exit pop-ups, and you should be all good. Okay, so this is just the sort of page that I'd recommend creating. No matter what sort of lead magnet you are putting together, um, this sort of thing, th this sort of setup, very, very simple, easy to put together, can work very well, it's very effective. As I said, you can come through this page and have a look. How do you go about creating pages like this? Now, we have people in-house that create these sort of pages for us, but if you don't have that, what I would recommend is that you come through and grab yourselves a ClickFunnels account. So there's lots of different landing page software out there. Um, my favorite is ClickFunnels. We use ClickFunnels all the time for us and our clients, and that's what I'd recommend. Um, I will include a link in the video description below to ClickFunnels. That will be an affiliate link, full disclosure. So if you do click on that and sign up, I'll receive a small commission. Now, the reason why I'm recommending ClickFunnels is not because of the affiliate commission. All their competitors have affiliate programs as well. I could easily be um, advising that you go ahead and use one of theirs instead and still make a, a commission from those sales. The reason why I've chosen ClickFunnels is because my opinion is the best. It's super simple to use. You don't need to use any code. You can come in and check out their website. Um, they're probably the biggest in the industry at this point. As you can see, some of these crazy numbers here, over $4.1 billion processed through ClickFunnels. But it's very, very simple drag and drop software. They've got tons of templates that look fantastic. You can put together opt-in pages, landing pages, like the one I just showed you, very, very easily yourself. You can get that up and running um, today, the, the same day you watch this video, and be good to start driving traffic um, to it. So that's why I'd recommend go ahead and grab yourselves a ClickFunnels account. I'll uh, include a link to a, a free trial, 14-day free trial below. Um, if you could click on the link before you do so, so I do get that affiliate commission, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Hopefully this video has been useful. Um, Opt-in pages are, uh, and landing page sales pages in general, are often ignored to some extent after someone's created their Facebook ads, but they're a hugely important component of having success with Facebook advertising. The actions that people take after they leave Facebook is obviously going to be part of the, the make or break in your Facebook ad campaigns. So go through this, grab the Facebook ad template um, so you can see the whole process. Um, if you did find this useful, please leave a comment below. Always appreciate that when you guys do. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little uh, bell, the little notifications button so you find out more great Facebook advertising, digital marketing related content that I release um, at least weekly. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.